Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our past formula tutorial. This is the last session of the introduction of fast formula tutorial. Today we are going to look at how the function in fast formula works. We use a lot of function in the fast formula, even like, you know, write ESS log is a function, like that we write a lot of functions. So we see how these functions works in fast formula. The function is basically divided into two parts. One is a serial function, which is given by fast formula, then the user defined functions. The user defined function is used a lot in EBS because the customer has access to database. Since in uh, Fusion, the cloud does not provide access to database, you cannot create a user defined function. If you have your local deployment, yes, you can create a functions. Okay, so we will come, come to that in a later section. Now we see what is serial function. The serial function also can further divide into two parts. One is that the function provided by the engine itself. The other function is basically the applications like HCM, fast form, I mean, um, compensation, absences, uh, payroll. They are providing the functions for their own purpose. Now, when we are coming to the C red fast formula, there also we can divide them into two parts. One is the function for uh, the basic PLC equal functions like two character, absolute, that kind of a function. The other one is some functionality provided by the engine like add days, ESS log, write. All these are given. Okay. The fast formula cannot call the PLC equal function directly. So what happened is the fast formula has got a table where they see all their functions. Then they say what is to be called. Okay. All these functions are basically called some function from the database. So which is basically seeded into a table and the fast formula access the table from the table they call that functions. There is a database function which is inclusive of uh, fast formula uh, like that PPLC equal functions and that whatever that uh, the created function which is uh, like which is reference to references given in that uh, table which is called from the table that's what happens now the serial function also the same thing they create a, a function in the database then basically they seed that information into the table and that is called. The example is for the PL, PL SQL function. You can say absolutely to care and all this stuff. And to date, to care everything. That some functionality you can say add days, which is basically uh, add days works like you know date plus one plus some number. So the plus does not work in the uh, pass formula directly. So they have a function. So you can add that. The same thing with the ESS lock, right? Now, when you are coming to that, the application function, we can say set log from uh, compensation, which is like uh, a overloader function for ESS log rate. Okay, we just got some other functionality. We will see that when we are looking into that compensation pass formula in detail. Then get value set, get table value. These are, we, we seen the get value set. The get table value, which are provided by payrolls. Now we'll see the some function, then we'll come back to use of different functions. That my own application, which is not available in a public domain. So this I'm using to explain you like graphically. Okay, now let me go into that. Okay. There's a function key which is basically a unique key for function, then there's a name. There's also alias name. Either you can call that function by the base function name or you can call by alias name. Then that also tell you what you are going to return. 
volcano of value can be returned. In this case, absolutely returning number, add log returning number. For example, if you are looking at the apps, which calls the basically absolutely the apps function of that uh, PL SQL function. The add is which call a function in the database. I mean, like the function was created by that uh, formula and which is called by the add is. We are looking at the add is which passes the two parameter, both are op not optional. One is a date, one is a number. So the end is the date will be added to the number and return will be the, the added date will be added. The date will be added. If you are looking for the apps function, this pass one number which do the return the absolute value of that. This is basically coming from uh, formula engine. If you are looking at here, the benefit again, okay, I look for the basically say that uh, get value, you look for a get table value, get table, get table value, which is coming from payroll. Okay, they have a get table value. Uh, HR get table, you get uh, table value. There, there are two get table values are there. Probably there may be a little different the parameter. Okay, the one basically get table value says that it has got a six parameters. Okay, we can now. We are looking at the table name, column name, row value, effective date. This is basically called for effective date. The effective date you can pass it as a parameter. Is that the, the legislative data group ID is passed as a context? Okay, there are two optional value. So if you are looking at this part, the, the effective date is passed inside. There's no you can't pass it. Okay, whenever there's okay. Now when you are coming to that, there are two type of different type of parameters passed in. Okay. There is a one pass through the context which you don't have a control. Automatically, when you are, you are calling it, the formula engine gets the context and pass it to you. You can't do anything on that part. But whatever the parameter that you have that like control, what you pass, you can pass a value to that. That's the reason they created two, because the, the second one is created where you can pass the date. So you can kind of manipulate the date, you can pass it. So one is context, one is the parameter. Then we'll now we'll come back to the user defined functions. Uh, okay, now what is the user defined functions? So you cannot create just I'll give an example in case if you have your local deployment, you can create your own function. Basically, there are two tables where you can see it. One is a B table, other one is a TL table. TL table is a language table. Okay, the B table is a basic functionality. The function the TL has got all these names that uh, the language specific information will be passed in. Then the VL, which has the combination of both. Okay. Here also you pass all these like you know what is what is written and all this the function, the name, alias, you can pass that. Then there are two tables, the parameters, the context. Parameter basically you say what are the information is passed to call that function, and which is uh, what is the type, is the in, out, or both, or what do you say that uh, required, not required. And also you define the context. So whenever the function is called, the context will be passed in. There's a one more thing you have to be careful. Okay. The whatever the functions you are basically creating in the database, that should be called by fusion dynamic schema. It is not a fusion schema. The fusion dynamic schema should access to execution access to that uh, function. Without that, it doesn't work. Yeah, the whole thing will be executed in a fusion dynamic schema. That you can keep in mind. That's it about the function. Uh, this is the end of our beginner tutorial. If you have any question, let me know. Uh, soon we will like talk about the individual formula from a different applications. Thank you.